Hello, cherished viewers. Today, we embark on an enlightening journey through the profound wisdom of Wallace D. Waddles, as illustrated in his seminal work, The Science of Getting Rich. His insights, ripe with the promise of personal growth and success, beckon us to delve deeper into the essence of what it truly means to enrich our lives. Our narrative commences with a powerful assertion from Waddles, the progress of the world is retarded only by those who do not fill the places they are holding. They belong to a former age and a lower stage or plane of life, and their tendency is toward degeneration. No society could advance if every man was smaller than his place. Social evolution is guided by the law of physical and mental evolution. In the animal world, evolution is caused by excess of life. When an organism has more life than can be expressed in the functions of its own plane, it develops the organs of a higher plane and a new species is originated. This quote sets the tone for our exploration, emphasizing the crucial role of personal evolution and growth. It's an invitation to transcend our current limitations, to rise above the status quo and embrace the potential for a higher state of being. Building upon this foundation, Waddles offers a profound insight into the nature of human creativity and potential. Man is a thinking center and can originate thought. All the forms that man fashions with his hands must first exist in his thought. He cannot shape a thing until he has thought that thing. This quote elucidates the immense power of thought as the precursor to tangible creation. It's a reminder that our reality is often a manifestation of our inner thoughts and visions. How then do we harness this power to shape a reality that aligns with our deepest aspirations? Waddles doesn't leave us pondering for long, as he propels us towards action with his next directive. Do every day all that can be done that day. This simple yet profound advice encourages us to embrace each day with zeal and purpose, making the most of every opportunity. It's a call to action, urging us not to procrastinate or dawdle, but to seize the day with both hands. But what does this mean in the grand scheme of our pursuit of richness and fulfillment? The journey with Waddles takes us further into the realm of personal development and the pursuit of knowledge. One cannot have a full life in the mind without books and time to study them, without opportunity to travel and observe, or without intellectual companionship. This emphasizes the necessity of a full life in the mind, underscoring the importance of books, study, travel, observation, and intellectual companionship. It's a testament to the multifaceted nature of richness, extending beyond material wealth to encompass intellectual and experiential wealth. However, in our quest for success and fulfillment, Waddles cautions against the peril of haste. Go as fast as you can, but never hurry. Remember that in the moment you begin to hurry, you cease to be a creator and become a competitor. You drop back upon the old plane again. This wisdom is a gentle reminder to balance our ambitions with mindfulness, to move swiftly but without the frenzied rush that often leads to burnout and a loss of creative essence. Waddle's insights then guide us towards the principles of value and service. See that you give them a use value greater than the cash value you are taking from them. This quote encourages us to focus on the value we deliver, ensuring it surpasses the monetary compensation we receive. It's a principle of ethical business and personal integrity, underlining the importance of contributing more than we take. The narrative now shifts to a profound spiritual dimension as Waddles asserts, you can render to God and humanity no greater service than to make the most of yourself. This statement is a powerful call to personal development, implying that our highest duty to ourselves and the divine is to realize our fullest potential. In addressing the uncertainties of life, Waddles advises, and do not spend time in the present taking thought as to the best course in possible future emergencies. Have faith in your ability to meet any emergency when it arrives. Here, he champions the power of faith and confidence in our ability to navigate life's unpredictable challenges, suggesting that dwelling too much on potential problems can hinder our present effectiveness. Waddles then touches on a fundamental human drive. 
All human activity is based on the desire for increase. People seek more food, more clothing, better shelter, more luxury, more beauty, more knowledge, more pleasure, an increase in something, more life. Every living being feels this continual need to move forward, and when the impulse ceases, dissolution and death immediately follow. We know this instinctively, and that's why we always seek more. This law of perpetual increase was fixed by Jesus in the parable of the talents. For to everyone who produces more, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from the one who does not produce, even what he has will be taken away. This quote delves into our innate urge for more, more sustenance, comfort, luxury, beauty, knowledge, and pleasure. It's a reflection on the natural law of growth and progression, underscoring the idea that stagnation is akin to regression, if not death. This theme of growth is further expanded with Waddle's metaphor of a seed. A seed that falls to the earth bursts into activity, and in the act of living, produces a hundred more seeds. Life by living multiplies itself. It is forever making more. So it must do if it wants to continue existing. Here, he illustrates how life by its very nature is ever expanding and multiplying. Just like a seed that falls to the ground and sprouts into many more, our lives are meant to be a continuous journey of expansion and multiplication. Waddles also explores the dichotomy of belief and doubt. It is as certain that doubt or disbelief starts a movement that moves everything away from you, as it is that faith and purpose start a movement that brings everything to you. It is by not understanding this that most people fail. This quote highlights the power of belief and purpose in attracting success and fulfillment, while doubt and disbelief push these away. It's a profound commentary on the law of attraction and the power of our mindset in determining our life's trajectory. Finally, Waddles brings us full circle with a statement that ties together the themes of personal responsibility and growth. You can advance only by being larger than your present place, and no man is larger than his present place who leaves undone any of the work pertaining to that place. This quote is a compelling call to action, urging us to grow beyond our current circumstances by fully embracing and excelling in our present roles. As we reflect on these teachings from Wallace D. Waddles, we are reminded of the limitless potential within each of us. The journey to richness, both material and spiritual, is paved with the stones of thought, action, value, and belief. Thank you, dear audience, for joining us in this exploration of Waddle's wisdom. We hope these insights have inspired you as much as they have enlightened us. We invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. How have these principles shaped your path to richness? What lessons will you carry forward in your journey? Until next time, may your days be filled with purpose, growth, and abundant richness.